Oh, dikit. Today's video sponsor is GVG where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, this is Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, we're gonna record outside because it's a, it's a very nice day, so why not? And anyway, as for the topic, we have the review of the new Adrenaline Drivers, the 23.1.1. And as I say in all my videos, 23 is the year, 2023, 1 is the month, so January, and the other one is the first revision in that month, so the first revision of January. As for these drivers, I I mean, they are once again just for the RX 7900 series. I don't really know why AMD is not releasing any more drivers for the RX 6000 series since the older ones, or at least the, the latest ones for those cards, are the 22.11.2, which are WHQL recommended, uh, and they are stable for most people. They are pretty, pretty good drivers for 99% of people, um, so that's okay. I do believe that they are just releasing drivers, at least the three the the three latest versions were only for the RX 7900 series, because these cards need a lot, a lot more tweaking uh, in order to perform better, or at least in order to perform as they should, and that's why I believe they are focusing just on those cards so far, okay? They're focusing first on those cards, and when they have those cards working as intended, they will then try, try or not try, they will then release once again drivers for the older cards, okay? But well, let's start with, um, with the release notes, actually. So 23.1.1 drivers, and they are only for the RX 7900 series, at least so far. Okay, let's start with the fixed issues, which fix the intermittent driver timeout may occur when applying auto-overclock performance tuning, so people using auto-overclock are now fine to do it without having driver timeouts, which is nice. While playing Valheim, an app crash or driver timeout may occur when using Vulkan API. This was a problem that some people were reporting with, um, with Valheim while using Vulkan, and it seems to be finally fixed. People have been reporting this for months, and seems that AMD actually fixed it now, at least for the 7000 series, which is nice, at least for the, the new cards, at least. While playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, an intermittent app crash or driver timeout may occur when ray tracing settings are enabled. I tested the game, I tested ray tracing as well, everything was fine, but I do believe that some people may be having issues, and these drivers are supposed to fix those issues, so nice. And as for the last fixed issue, we have minor performance degradation may, might be, may be observed sorry, after applying a factory reset of settings. This is interesting and odd at the same time, so we actually have a minor performance degradation, uh, or we might have a minor performance degradation if we're actually using a factory reset of settings. Now, what settings? A factory reset of the of the AMD Adrenaline Kit settings, a reset of the overclocking settings. What settings exactly? Well, at least it's fixed, meaning that with these drivers you will we, you will not have performance degradation, or at least you shouldn't, which is nice but uh, at the same time it shouldn't even happen in the first place but well as for the known issues we still have some with high idle power uh, as situationally been observed when using select high resolution and high refresh rate display panels so high idle power on things like 240 hertz and in some scenarios like 4k 120 hertz is still happening not for all not for everyone not for every single 4K 120 Hz display, but it is definitely still happening. Intermittent app crashes or driver timeout may occur when using Radeon Super Resolution with some extended display configurations. This is a problem that comes from the previous drivers. Video stuttering or performance drop may be observed during gameplay plus video playback, 
with some extended display configurations. I do believe that these issues were fixed on the previous generation cards, uh, so with the 22.11.2 drivers and the RX 6000 series, 5000 series and before, we actually, and previous, we actually have this issue fixed, but it seems that it is still present on the new 7900 series. But well, at least AMD knows that they have issues or they have possible issues with this and they are trying to fix them. Also, we have still the stuttering may be observed on Uncharted 4 A Thief's End during the opening game sequence, also a thing from the first driver as well. And the last one is some virtual reality games or apps may experience lower than expected performance. And yeah, basically that's it for the release notes. So it seems that VR is still not fixed. So MD is like, deal, deal with, with it. it. And that's what we have to do, sadly. As for my experience, well, I tried these drivers for quite some time, I played with them. Uh, so far, so good, no black screens, no blue screens, uh, everything is fine. Now, I did notice that although some people actually told me in the comment section and on the messenger chat on, uh, of Facebook, they actually told me that they actually got more, yes, I said actually several times, that they got more performance on Modern Warfare 2. I did not. For my case, it was the opposite. I actually had around, um, let's say, 2% performance degradation, but... Yeah, and it, it, it is not in uh, inside the margin of error because I tested it several times and I do have around 5 average FPS less. So from 212 to 205 average FPS, okay? With a little bit 1% lows as well. So on that game, I do have lower performance. But some people seem to have more uh, around 10 FPS or even more than that in performance boost. So let me know in the comment section if you actually have performance degraded or upgraded uh, with the newest 23.1.1 drivers in Modern Warfare 2. As for me, I got less FPS. As for the other games, they are working perfectly fine, more or less the same performance for me, at least for the ones that I tested and for the ones that you see in this video. The performance is the same apart from Modern Warfare 2. As for problems, I told you before that there are no problems, at least that I noticed. And there is one thing in terms of the idle power draw consumption and video playback power draw consumption. I can actually tell you that it has improved a bit more over the previous drivers that already improved it a huge amount over the release drivers. So on the 23, on the 22.12.1, we had an idle power draw of around 50 watts. Going for the... Um, yeah, that was my cat. Going for the 22.12.2 drivers, we actually had a re <laughs> we actually have a, a reduction. We had a reduction to around 35 watts, um, and on full idle, it would go to around 16, 17 watts. Now, with these 23.1.1 drivers, we actually got a further reduction from 16 to around 13 watts, which is nice. And on video playback, the first drivers actually had 80 watts on video playback. The second drivers, the 22.12.2, had around 50, 55 watts uh, on video playback. And with these drivers, we get once again a reduction of the power draw. At least I do get. Uh, it goes from 50 down to 35 watts when I'm just watching the video, um, where it was con constantly at 50, 55 watts when I was watching the videos with 22.12.2 drivers, even if I was just watching the video, okay? And now it goes from 55, the usual on the last drivers, below, down to, sorry, down to around 30 watts, 35 watts, which is quite nice. And well, guys, that's all for today's video and my experience. Thanks a lot for watching. The battery is once again going to die. So don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you thought about these drivers and what is your experience with these drivers. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.
Sure looks like it. Driver not stopping. They need some help. Thompson to Mitsubishi Control. This is dispatch. Visual on the suspect. 